close on him. And I think the weight advantage will be too much to overcome for Jadeep in this fight. And let's go up to Jimmy for the final introduction. All right, fans, here we go with the big boys of the sport. Heavyweights in the ring. We're scheduled three three-minute rounds. Introducing you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim. He weighed in at 122.8 kilos. With a record of 20 wins, 7 losses, he has 13 wins coming by way of knockout from Woolwich, London. Here is the hard-hitting British heavyweight champion, Daniel the Warrior Sam. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner in this three-round attraction, wearing white trunks. He weighed in at 109.8 kilos. His record stands at 23 wins, five losses, with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from India, now fighting out of Japan. Please welcome the 2009 Grand Prix Soul Champion, introducing J.D. And once again, a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Yop Ubeda. Three fighters, the clear rule, clean fight. No headbutts, no elbows, no plays in lower back. After the mega mom break, it's break, stop you all, okay? If it's a good fight, shake hands and step back. Shake hands. That's two big men in the ring. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> Look enormous. Daniel Sam looks like a monster. 120 oh, kilos. Monster. Come on. Oh, there we go. Testing out the head kick defense right away. Singh chopping with that left kick. Singh's got to hold that range. Got to keep the big man off him. I wouldn't be surprised if Singh used a couple front kicks as well. And a lot of movement. Got to be very careful with that low kick of Daniel Sam. Like that. Like that. I watch quite a bit of Singh's fights, and he's very clever. He finds a way to get in there. Uh, he's very patient, very confident when he gets to his stand up. Singh answers back with his own right low kick. Sam using that right, that left jab there to set up that bomb of a right leg to try and punish that front leg of Singh. Yeah, Sam will also do a switch kick, left kick to the head and body. Comes out of nowhere. Yeah, but Sam landed another big low kick, and that's like three in a row. And that's going to really add up. Singh moving forward, chopping away, missing with a good right hand. Singh very relaxed here. I think... A possible strategy for J.D. Singh is to take Daniel Sam late in the fight, and a lot of times the bigger muscular fighter gets tired. Well, that's what Singh said. He said, all, all I got to do is watch the power and take care. He'll tire out. Oh, go to the body. Oh, big shot, though. Oh, Daniel Sam lifted him up with a body kick. Man! <laughs> Ouch! That just hurt to look at it. J.D. Wow, J.D. Wow. eats a right hurt. There was a right yeah. uppercut. It was the right uppercut. J.D. did the big time fish dance right there. Yeah, he, he didn't see it. He doesn't know what hit him. So he's trying to clear the cobweb. Short right uppercut by Daniel Sam on the inside. Sam's going to jump all over him. Yeah, he's going to come out bombing. Probably won't throw a lot of kicks here. Just mainly punches. But J.D. doing the right thing by trying to tangle yeah. up. Even if he takes a warning or a point. Hey, listen to me. Yeah. Get the clinch. Clear his head. Because one more punch like that, this one's going out. Yeah. Sam swinging a little wild he's here. He's throwing all power. Yeah, and he's missing. That's not good. He's got to pick his shots here. He's got to settle down. It's a hometown situation. I understand he's emotional. But he's got to land, land it clean. He's missing those big shots and those big arms. If this goes into the third round, it's going to be a problem. Oh. Wow. Not good. He knocked himself down. Yeah, right. If they took a photograph right then, it would it'd say, wait a minute, look at this fight. Okay. 
All right, then. Okay, he, uh, Daniel Sam definitely won that round uh, technically, and he got the knockdown, so it is, in fact, probably going to be a 10-8 round. As it should be. And it started out fast and furious with Daniel Sam just going for it. He clipped him right there with that uppercut. You know, he's swinging so hard. If any of those land, it was an uppercut left hook yeah. that just shook the brain. Of uh, Jadip Singh has no idea where he's at, trying to get his feet going. Oh, that was on a temple. That's why I shook him so bad. Yeah. Those temple shots just shake your equilibrium like crazy. Yeah. And I've never seen that dance. You know what? Oh, that's the funky leg and the chicken right there. I think that uh, every lead singer and every rock band is going to steal that dance. <laughs> <laughs> but look at where, look at where Daniel Sam man, ended up at the end of the round throwing that massive punch. Hey, the judges gave him the round convincingly. Second yeah. Red corner, seconds out. And in glory, seconds out. a knockdown is not a, automatically a 10-8 round. It's a 10-9 round. But if you win the round right, in every other aspect as well, then it's a 10-8 round. Singh was a little slow to get out of his corner. Wow. Big, oh. big low kick by Sam. Uh, Singh has got to really be careful Stop. here fighting off the ropes like this. On the ground, Fight. Yeah, I worry about Singh on the ropes. I've seen some of his fights before. He does well there, but I'm not sure against a bigger man like Daniel Sam if he should be on the ropes. That big time power like that, you know, when you have a weight differential of you know, many kilos, of, uh, that was a low, low blow, but nonetheless. That was questionable, I could certainly say. Well, it's called a steel cup. It was right. It was totally low. It probably hurt uh, Jaideep Singh more than it hurt Sam. Sam has changed his strategy a little bit. I wonder if he's tiring. More of a counter strike. Yeah. This would be a good time for Singh to try and yeah. get some shots into the body. Get some points. Yeah. Because Beat up the legs. Right there. Because, Sam, see, Sam is, is fading back, Frank. I think you're onto something. Yeah, I think he's fading. Yeah. Now he's only, now he's backing up. Those, those body shots, this is a really good game plan for Singh. But he's got to be very careful for that one shot solution by Daniel Warrior Sam. Singh going high, getting greedy with a head kick. Singh very relaxed here. Daniel Sam's jab is still there. He's got to keep popping it. That's how that right hand gets set up. Daniel Sam winds up that right hand a little bit. If uh, Singh had a really sharp left hook, Oh, you catch him right behind that hand. Yeah, You're right exactly. There. You're right. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice skip knee in there from Singh. Singh taking advantage and really doing the better work here with one minute left in round number two. Nice, beautiful body work by Singh yeah. again with the right hand, ripping the bread basket of Daniel Sam. That'll take the power out of your punches. See Sam backing up. There's, there it is again. If he could throw the left hook and try and catch the liver. See, throwing the right hand, you know, you might catch the kidney, you might catch the rib maybe, but throwing that left hand, you do a lot more damage if you get it there. But the problem is you're closer to your opponent. You're going to left kick to the body. Singh has got this round in the bag, though, 25 seconds left. Punch. Massive right hand from Daniel Sam, right to the forehead. Sam crossed Singh's eyes, but Singh marches forward, gets the clinch, and Sam shrugs him off. Wow. His knees are well timed. Singh made a great comeback, he hit a few shots right there at the bell, but he definitely won that round. I think you're right, Steven. It's coming on. I think this is all about endurance at this point. Well, the warrior was popping big punches, and look at that massive right hand. It just crushed the face of Jadim Singh. He was right on his feet, and right after it, coming right back with these marching knees to the body. Daniel Sam doing a good job of shoving him off when he needs to have his range or have his will. Uh, but Jadim is smothering his punches, smothering his power right here. Second and it's very time, effective. Please. Second time. Yeah. Come on, go for it. Go, 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 go. Seconds out. Yeah, we got Jai Deep Singh. 
J.D. Singh winning that round 10-9 across the board. All five judges agree. This is the final round. According to the score, J.D. Singh is one point down. He needs to make up that point to at least get a 10-9 in this or a 10-8 if he gets a knockdown. Because if he loses this round, he loses the fight. Uh-oh. If he wins this round, there's a possible fourth round coming for us. And I don't think Daniel Sam wants that. No. Oh, look at that. He stepped forward like he was going to left kick, and Sam totally bought the fake. Yeah, he's got him dancing now. He should try and dig that left kick. He should fake him and wait till he stands back up and left kick him. Oh, that chopped his leg out. You know, he left kicked him, and Daniel Sam was smart. He knew it was coming. He threw the right low kick. Honestly, these guys are pretty agile for heavy heavyweights. Oh, big shot again. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho. Hey. Singh is wobbled. This is part two. He's dancing. Part two of that Four. dance. James Brown is dead. Seven. Maybe programmed hey, we'll and being channeled right here at XL Arena. Daniel Sam just has so much power in his right hand. Yeah, I think it's time for him to just go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Over the top like that, Singh's just going to duck and cover. He might want to come on with an uppercut. But that didn't look good because Singh is going to have to do a lot of work to make that one up. Well, he's probably still hurt. Yeah. You start dancing like that. Your brain's still scrambled. Yeah, I, Sam got a little roughed over the elbow. No offense from Jari since he got stuck. No, he's still, his head is still spinning like a pinwheel. Big body shot. Yeah. Chopping right hand to the head. One minute left. Doesn't look good for Jadeep Singh. He's got to mount some deep, some, uh, he's got to mount some offense here. But if he does, he's going to leave himself up for one of those bombs from Daniel Sam. Oh, man. Singh looks in bad shape here. Oh! Oh, Daniel Sam! That body shot. Punched him through the guts! Singh making a comeback, but Daniel Sam oh, he's shielding. Oh, his head now. He's shielding well. Yeah, he didn't land it. This guy's completely gassed. But Sam is still the fresher of the two. Mainly because he, he was never hurt in this fight. That's the trick. Where Singh was on the verge of going out. A couple times. Yeah, there it is. I have to say, it would probably be a 10 9 for Daniel Sam. So he's had this one. Yeah, I think the UK Warriors done yeah. enough to win. And damage-wise, I mean, those shots that were making Singh dance were just <laughs> devastating, man. I mean, look what they did to his poor body. Lost all control of himself. Boom, same thing, right on the temple. Just shaking the brain. Jody trying to get his feet underneath him. Yeah. Can't figure out where he's at. Daniel Sam, so much Ouch. power in that right hand. Overhand right landed perfectly right above the ear. And he stays right on it. Look at that push kick, set up. Bam! Ouch. Oh, and the effects from Singh rattled. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards as our panel of five judges have a total score of 145 to 130 in favor of the winner, Daniel the Wolf. Daniel, you got a bomb in that right hand. Uh, you really had him hurt. Were you surprised that he made it out of that first round? Yeah, because I know I've been training a lot on punch power. So I know if I hit him, he's going to feel it. I'm surprised he came back, but I know he's a top fighter. So I know he's going to fight for the whole fight. 
Yeah, it was a short little uppercut, but then it was that left hook that caught him right on the temple, and he did, you know, a, a crazy dance. But then he got back into the fight in round two. Were you worried at all that you were going to get tired? Never worried, no. I know I've been doing all the training needed, so I knew I'd be able to fight for the whole distance. There's no problem. Okay, let's hear it for him one more time. He is your local guy. He is Daniel Sam. Earth. Earth. Earth.